their nonsensical games are no longer working. So some of you may have seen this over the last couple of days, the New York Times, the failing somebody, there was an orange man who used to call it the failing New York Times. He was right about a lot of stuff, it turns out. Uh, the failing New York Times, all they've got left are lies and hit pieces. So they ran this, just this bananas hit piece on Tucker Carlson, just really just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous hit piece. And the thing is, it doesn't convince anyone. Yes, they've got their little sliver of brain, brainwash blue NPC people that read it and think that Tucker Carlson's a Nazi, but everyone else just mocks the shit out of it. And they're actually aiding and abetting in their own destruction. It's quite beautiful. Uh, but Tucker's doing the right thing, doing the right thing in the post-woke world, which is that you mock them, you fight back, and you continue to do good work. Tucker Carlson. This has got to be the 10th or 27th or 217th story just like this, the New York Times is run, and all of them are pretty much identical. Racist, racist, racist. The latest version of the story is being written by a kid called Nick Confessore. Confessore seems a little more self-important than most of them, but essentially he's the same as the last guy and the guy before him, because on some level, all these guys are the same. They're obedient little establishment defenders who will say anything to please their bosses. They're suck-ups, brown nosers, lick spittles, not people you'd want to have dinner with. Anyway, the New York Times is calling us racist again, and we're still in the air, which shows you how well it works. But you've got to wonder, why do they keep doing this? If you wanted to criticize this show, there are plenty of things you could say. We've got a ton of supposedly controversial opinions on a million different topics. We talk about them every night. Big finance is wrecking America. Marijuana actually isn't medicine. Russiagate is totally idiotic, and so is the war it's now causing. Feminism is a corporate lie. Marriage makes you happy, so does raising your own children, and so on. We even think UFOs are real. So in some ways, by the standards of the New York Times, we're pretty far out, but they never mention any of that. And the funny thing is, the one thing we do not have exotic opinions on is race. Our view of race is really simple. We believe Martin Luther King. We don't think your skin color is the most important thing about you. We think all people were created by God and should therefore be judged by what they do, not by how they look. Okay, so New York Times runs this piece. Uh, Tucker does the right thing, which is calmly uh, fight back. But then he did this on Twitter, which this really is, it shows you where the shift is occurring. He just had someone take a picture of him, probably his wife at home, with that shit-eating grin, holding the New York Times, which he should be wiping his ass with, uh, the front page hit piece, on him. And that is where we are at. This is how you win. You have better ideas, you calmly explain yourself, and you mock these freaks. And then you build a better world. That's what you gotta do.